This video will present solutions to the VCE 2021 Mathematical Methods Written Examination 2, Section A, Questions 16 to 20. Question 16. Based on the location of the angles X and Y on the unit circle and the information given, we can deduce a value for sine X and cosine Y. Cosine X equals 3 over 5 usually implies that sine X equals 4 over 5 based on this Pythagorean triple. In the fourth quadrant, this becomes sine x equals minus 4 over 5. Sine squared y equals 25 over 169 means that sine y equals plus or minus 5 on 13. From another Pythagorean triple, cosine y equals 12 on 13. As in the fourth quadrant, cosine is positive. The sum of sine x plus cosine y is equal to the sum of these fractions. This corresponds to answer A. Question 17. This question concerns a binomial distribution for which we know that P equals 0.1 and the probability of at least two successes is at least 0.5. As we are looking for the smallest value of N for which this is the case, we can start by calculating the probability of two or more successes for N equals 15, the smallest case given. We can do this via the interactive distribution menu of the ClassPads main app. As the probability calculated is less than 0.5, n equals 15 is not the answer. To check n equals 16, the input line can be edited, changing the two values of 15 to 16. As the probability of at least two successes is still less than 0.5, it is time to test n equals 17. As this probability exceeds 0.5 and the values less than 17 have been checked, n equals 17 is the smallest possible value of n, and so the answer is C. Question 18. Insight into the maximum number of solutions to this equation can be gained by graphing f of x and g of x which can be done in the ClassPads Graph and Table app. Zooming in a little, we can see that for k equals zero, the equation f of x take k equals g of x has only one solution, as seen by the single intersection point of these two curves. The graph of f of x take k will be a translation parallel to the x-axis by k units of the graph of f of x. As k takes increasing positive values, the curve will move right until, for some k value, the two graphs will intersect at three points indicating that the equation in question will have three solutions. To confirm this result, a graph of f of x take 1 can be drawn. Question 19. For a piecewise function, to be differentiable for all x, the derivative of the pieces needs to be equal at the point where they meet, making the curve smooth. Applying this test to option A, the derivative of the pieces is 1 and negative 1 respectively, and so A fails the smooth test. Looking at option B, it is not defined for x equals 0, and so cannot be differentiable for all x. For option C, the derivative of its first piece is 8. The derivative of its second piece at x equals 0 is 2 by 2 times 0 plus 1 times 2, which is equal to 4. And so C fails the smooth test as well. Option D has piece derivatives of 2 and 4, as found in part C, and so is not differentiable for all x. Looking lastly at option E, at x equals 0, the derivative of its pieces are 4, 
and 4. And so E is differentiable for all X. Question 20. A Venn diagram of independent events A and B is instrumental to answering this question. By shading event A complement and then shading event B, the required region A complement union B is shaded. As A and B are independent, then the probability of their intersection is equal to the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B, which in this case is P multiplied by P squared, which is P cubed. As the probability of A is P, the probability of the unshaded region is P minus P cubed. This means that the shaded region has probability 1 minus P minus P cubed. This can be simplified to 1 minus P plus P cubed, which is answer D.